Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Undermine Othermine time. We're going to be checking out the new update in Othermine, which is how we're going to be playing this game moving forward here in this series. It is effectively the roguelike mode instead of the rogue light mode in the sense that whenever we enter through this portal, we're going to be stripped of all of our meta progression up upgrades. We're going to be starting out at the base level and we're going to get upgrades starting from the beginning and they will go away at the end of the run. So it's a more condensed, traditional roguelike experience, and it should now include the new bog floor and the new, what is it, Pilfer King, Plunder King boss from that floor, in addition to all of the enemies that you can find therein. We got a pretty cool crown on for our streak here. I, I can't remember what number we're on, but alas, we get a bunch of free items here to start out our run. We get one bomb damage up, three max HP ups, four throw damage ups, and two, oh, I mean, two? Yeah, two, I, I forget because the one, it throws me for a loop. This is one upgrade, this is two upgrades. Uh, two range ups as well. Uh, so we get that free stuff from the chest here. We will also get the ability to now, we didn't do the, We didn't do the shield? Didn't we? All right, well, whatever. Uh, anywho, <laughs> I could have sworn we did. I don't know. We also get a pick between one of these two items. Honestly, it's a tough choice. Salamander's Tail, which burns enemies sometimes on hit, is really good. And you also get to cook all of your meat. It's a very good item. Uh, but there's also Four Leaf Clover, which makes enemies drop gold when killed, which, as a literal first item, is kind of hard to say no to. Uh, we get to pick between Firebird and Adalon. I think that Firebird is going to be a better, simpler one to start with here. Decrease your swing speed. Uncooked food is less effective and has chance to poison. We do have to pick a curse as well. I'm going to go with decreased swing speed. By a large margin, it is rough. But since we have got a bunch of upgrades to our throw damage, I'm not going to be too, uh, too upset to go for that anyways. Uh, increased potion duration or swing attack size. You know... I'm actually going to go with Potion Duration in a weird way. Uh, I think that this run is, a lot of times you get stuff in the beginning and it kind of like pushes you in a certain direction, either going for swings, throws, or a lot more often than it used to, you can actually generate a bomb run, which is pretty exciting. Uh, but for now, we definitely got ourselves a, a throw run, a cooking. A throw run, a cooking indeed. So we're going to be using that as our primary primary method of attack. This is just a straight up throw damage up. I have got no problem with that. Uh, the other thing that's great about the other mine mode, it doesn't sound great, but it is great. You start with zero gold, which means the game is not like already, uh, your, your purchases are not free. You actually have to consider them. And that's why this item is going to be really good for us. Uh, increase blessing options at altars. I think getting that pretty early on is going to be good, especially since we do really want to spe like specifically go for one type of run right now. We're kind of uh, we kind of decided what we want, which is to say a throw focused run. Uh, but I think it's, it's probably time to uh, explain what the heck this uh, Firebird does. You can probably already get a very good guess. I'm just going to let him steal the gold, I guess. Uh, but we throw our pickaxe at an enemy and they will get marked for, uh, basically, for death via our Firebird here. Who will then do fire damage uh, to them over the course of time. Do a little fireball and do a little fire damage over the course of time. Uh, and as they rank up, basically, they get to do more damage. Uh, rank 2 makes it so we take less fire damage as well. And both we and the Firebird do more damage. That's why I was kind of saying that fire item right away was kind of tempting in a, in a weird sort of a way. Kind of tempting to go for that uh, since we would have gotten the extra upgrade. So we, we have 215 bucks now. We have... A shrine that we don't have a key for. We don't have a bomb for what is probably going to be a secret room right here, I imagine. Um, I'm going to go for it. Go for the dumbest bomb imaginable. 
Mm. Chance it? I feel like I'm re I'm really thinking that that was a secret room. I was like I was I was pretty confident about it. But alas, it is not and that is okay. We should have obviously, you know, saved the bomb for later. I know that that's the smarter way to play, but I don't know. Sometimes I like to just play a little uh a little feisty. Okay, we got a key there. We did get another bomb, so we could take another shot at finding a secret room if we wanted. But eh. All right, so we could go for either healing is more effective, faster swing speed, more swing damage, or a curse removal. I'm going to go with a curse removal, mostly for quality of life. Just because while we are going to be doing most of our damage as a uh, throw, I don't want to take forever to break gold, you know? Uh, and there's some things that you... There's some enemies, there's some things that you really do almost need to melee uh so you know it just feels like it's a good idea all right so uh, i would have loved it if we could find a cheeky well bye bye bobo bye bye bobo a cheeky little uh extra we'll take it way to bomb into this room down here because you can like if this was a secret room down here we could bomb there and then if we had another bomb we could bomb to the left to get into that other room there but alas alas no such thing oops just a dumb hit there i'm excited to potentially get um some of the new potions and i, I there are apparently new items i i've obviously i've seen shrapnel so there is definitely New items. Now that I, now that I say that, there's definitely new items. Of course, shrapnel. What we got the other day. Um, temporarily increase your throw damage sounds quite nice to me. I don't think we need immolate, even though we would get benefit from uh, having it with our pet. What is? This was not a, not a good trade. I don't think. You actually can sell items to Black Rabbit if we do not want them. We want to get gold instead. However, I'm. You know, I feel like there's not, like, a good reason to oh, to say no to our items right now. I kind of, I think they're both quite good. Ah, Guidance, a.k.a. I just call it Ricochet. We had this yesterday. Obviously, it's, it's part of a balanced breakfast. If you're going for a throw run. It, there's, like, a couple types of throw runs, you know? You go for... Uh, just very, ooh, very high throw damage, single target, hit them a whole bunch, and then there is a, oh, also, so do these, are these guys exploding? What exploded? Because I see these sparkles here. I don't know what did the explosion, it might have been a pilfer. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there's also, like, a good thing to go for is on hit effects, like the, you know, unfortunately, like the burn, which we did pass up. I'm not going to sacrifice 60-ish HP just for that right now. <gasps> ah, new potion? Toad Vines Tonic. No idea. New idea. All right. Oh, we're going to pop on down. Uh, Multi-strike could be good, getting like, like on-hit effects. There's like the poison one where when you hit an enemy, they might get poison, might electrocute. All of those basically bounce around because every time it bounces around and hits a new enemy, it has a chance to proc that again. So it's just a very, very good thing. Um, I think Catalyst will be worth it more than some of this other stuff. Tactically, I, I think that getting... This makes it so every time we heal, it's, it's a long-term investment. But I think it's going to be worth it. Every time we heal, we heal uh, an extra one. Which does not sound like a lot. Because it's not a lot. However, there's a lot of combos in the game that uh, will help you generate a lot of value out of it. Ooh, my goodness. Uh, anything that makes you heal one health a lot of times is a very crazy good combo with it. There's a, of course, actually, I don't know if we got it yesterday. There's an item that makes it so every time you pick up gold, you heal one HP. Or you heal some HP. You can upgrade it, basically, with... You know, various blessings. There's a... I thought that was... Why did I think that was my bomb? Uh, you can upgrade it with various blessings, but... 
So that would make it so every time you heal that one HP, you would heal an additional one HP, which you can see how that could add up. That's effectively doubling the value. Not even effectively, it is literally is doubling the value. Okay, so we also start with one less slot here. Chance to crit, reduced. Okay, extra chance to crit, but we reduced our swing speed. I'm very fine with that uh, with that trade. I think that's totally all right by me. I feel like going for with a couple of the newer items added to the game. I think going for critical damage might have actually been a smarter call. Uh, but oh well, it's all good. I'm gonna blow that up in case there's some items in there. There's no way to bomb our way into that locked room, which is a bummer. So we will just buy an actual key because we do have the ability to re-roll the item i will pick this up right here i'm not saying we're gonna re-roll it but i'm just a, i'm assuming i don't know i'm expecting the worst let's bring it and re-roll it um heal in each new room for each curse i am fine with it i'm gonna say okay so here's what we're going to do to try and get max value out of our items. Um, I'm going to pick up this. Drink it immediately and then run. Run, 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 run. Value, value, value. Please do not be the new boss. Please do not be the new boss. We're going to die if we fight the new boss right now, I think. I genuinely think that we, uh, we will kick the bucket. Oh my god, this is not much better. <laughs> oh no. This is not much better. Okay, well, thankfully he is... Okay, he, yep, he's taking good damage. Uh, I find uh, throw runs to actually be pretty solid against this guy. We didn't fight him yesterday. We didn't go to his uh, his zone. So this is, actually a, this is actually a neat new experience. Hopefully we do get that zone as well. Since there's probably some people watching this video who actually have not seen it yet. Whoop, okay. He's not, he never went invincible, and he's going to be doing the five, so he's actually putting himself in a terrible spot. Wow. That potion, uh, potion of extra damage was really, really valuable for us. Can hit the meat into the, uh, little lava here, the little gold pit, to actually turn it into golden food. Heavy boots. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't mind if I do it with the heavy boot. Okay. Radiate heat. Or every time we enter a room, we heal. Does this... I can't remember. Does this end of Apoctic Charm stack into the same thing? I don't remember. I'm going to go with crit damage. Reduce shop options. Damage when you jump. I, I just hate damage when you jump. Radiate heat sounds like a very good idea since it's fire damage. Fine. We probably should have gone with the other thing due to the uh, really solid synergy with the Catalyst. And one thing to keep in mind about Other Mine that is not necessarily true in... Hey, there we go. We got the, uh, got the wonderful lava level. Not necessarily true in other roguelites. If you pass an item... It's Isaac rules. If you pass an item, it's gone. You will not you will not see it again in the future in this run. So, I, I'm kind of bummed to pick between those two because I actually would genuinely uh, have liked both of them. I'm going to say no to that for now. Ooh. It's the Doppelbrew. So, okay. I'm actually low-key hoping that we want to re-roll this. You know, we, we did a bomb run yesterday. Okay. Aura, very, very strong. It has a, um, a very low bummer situation with it. <laughs> uh, and that's the fact that it does make it harder to find Omega Lol. Uh, the thing that I was referring to sort of as the deal with the devil the other day. Okay. Scooch, scooch. Because it makes it so you get a lot less curses. So, of course, your curse level is not going to be nearly as high. You've not seen any of the new enemies yet. So, I 
I mean, low-key hoping they are actually in it, first of all. It is on the beta branch. Should be understandable if there is an issue with that. Definitely going to be taking the throw damage upgrade. I'm considering buying a bomb and then using a bomb to, <laughs> to re-roll, but that would make no sense. Uh, I don't know. Using a bomb to re-roll wouldn't have been too terrible. This is the doppel... Yeah, Doppelbach. It's showing up a, l a lot. The game is really, really trying to make sure I see it. I see it, game. Don't you worry. God, I just... You know, no, no shade to the people who prefer the regular mode. This just feels right. This... Well, holy crap. Um, this is so good. This is so good because now we get the Aura Charge, which I think they fixed it so it only blocks one curse from here, but still. Uh, Sun Eater, no. No, no, no. Consume all current and future blessing, convert them into swing damage. That's not going to really work for this run. All right. It only, it only eats one, but it does eat one. Enemies fire an arrow when killed. That is a new curse. So, I mean, I'm glad that it, uh, I'm glad it eats the major curse first. But we got some, uh, we got some work to do. To get value out of these, uh, two free bombs. I mean, I think that we will be alright. I mean, we just need to make sure, you know. Use a bomb in every room to, uh, to do some exploring. There's no downside to it except for the fact that we actually might blow ourselves up. Want to make sure that I'm oh, far away from the enemies. This uh, enemy is shooting an arrow at you when they die. I, I can see it being very, very rough if you uh, are doing more of a melee run. That sounds like it could potentially be... Ah, my boys! Okay. I actually do not know how to properly fight you. I mean, it actually seems like they are uh, hard countered by a throw build. Which is nice to see. It's nice to see enemies that... Um, more enemies that are... You get extra, extra benefit of being, like, an actually ranged build or, like, a bomb build. Because, you know, I've talked about it in the past. The game definitely, like, prioritizes... Eh, sure. It definitely has prioritized um, swing builds historically. But it definitely seems like it is pushing a quite a bit away from that. Okay. We gotta get in here for free. Hey! Chance to poison your enemies on hit. And there's it's unlikely there's another secret room in here, but we will chance it. Alright. Good stuff. Pocket bombs again. I, like... <laughs> I feel like I never... Uh, I rarely see pocket bombs, and then, boom. Double pocket bomb. Back to back. It's a very, very solid item. You know, in a, in a sense. It, does, it maybe doesn't sound like a big deal... Uh, okay, we might as well. Could be here. Okay. Which maybe doesn't sound like a big deal, but it definitely is. Uh, that really, really, really adds up. Okay, we got an extra key. We're basically trading two temporary bombs for two real bombs here, which is a very, very good trade, because we're basically trading nothing for something. Which uh, is often a good trade. Shaka. Trying to multitask here, seeing if we can hit the enemies with the bomb. And also open up that rock just in case it is a, uh, a crawl space. Could potentially have an item as well. You can probably see here how uh, the bouncy shots with the poison can really end up being a very valuable thing. These guys actually do not take fire damage as well. Okay, so on other mine... Oh. Oh, okay. Can we poison it to cook it and make it good again? You can. Okay. Or poison it to what? Push it in the fire to cook it to make it good again? Yes, you can. There we go. We've answered what I actually meant to ask. Okay. Good stuff. Free money. Good stuff. 
pretty money. I don't think there can be another one in here. I'm going to hit this into the... Or I guess I could just push it into the lava. Get an extra 100 bucks, which is nothing to scoff at at all. Four up there is pretty expensive. We do get value out of um, bomb damage upgrades right now. Oh my god. If only. Okay, we need to see if we can find more money. Uh, oh, shoot. Is there something we can sell? Because one, two, three, four, five. If we just remove one curse, then we get to remove all of our curses. Just like that. Oh, this is oh, this is tough, though. Oh, this is tough, though. Is it late enough in the run where we can sell four-leaf clover? I'm going to say fine. You know, if its only use is to give us money, so we might as well get the money now, I suppose. I'll get the map, which is actually a very, very good item. Um, but... I think this is going to be super worth it. The ability to remove all five of my curses, I think, is kind of huge. The uh, the bummer thing out of this is that you know we we waste our little doppelbock. But I guess you know what we can do. Uh, we can do a little dance with him instead. Oh, we can. We can desync them! Ice climbers, hello! Prepare to be wobbled, suckers. Uh, yeah, let's get some bomb damage. Because large ember actually scales off of bomb damage. That's why I would do that. Is there... Did we not chant the... I don't think that there can be one, but I don't... I can't remember if I checked. I think I did check. It's fine. It's worth a bomb, just in case we could have got into that four lock key room. Would have been worth it. But yeah, now all we need to do is remove one curse, and then we can remove five curses at once, which is busted good value. Busted good value. Because I, I don't even... I haven't even hovered over what all of them do. I just know that... I want them gone. And Aura is down there. Okay, what do we put on our shrine? Is it the same across both modes? I can't remember. Deal more throw damage at low health. Uh, you would maybe think that on a throw run... This would be something that'd be extra valuable. I do not care about it too much, though. Just gonna make sure we're standing by him to do damage with our AOE from the... Ah! From the large amber. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Same thing. Just stand by these punks. Burn them alive. We're actually doing some pretty big damage. Okay. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Now. Alright, remove one. I don't care if there was something good there. One, two, three, four, five. Gone. Like oil off an otter. Oh, baby. Now let's curse ourselves again. Because this is definitely a curse trade room. Okay, well, we blocked one of those. Wait, what? Okay. Uh... Also, we should have... I guess we should have attempted to go right and then up, I suppose. Oh... Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, no. Mamma mia! All right, now we get a free item. Ghastly hands will attack the enemy. It's uh, it's like a pretty decent item on other mine. Uh, I calls Nori the boss's hands to attack the enemies. I consider it to have a pretty weird downside though, and that's the fact that it's actually really easy to mistake the hands for uh, the enemies ones. If you're doing the Nori boss fight. I really should have used my other free bomb there. Um, Sure. Let's ditch it. Um, I, I don't know. I probably 
I should have uh, tried to make sure we got a... Um, oh, bite me! Got enough money for that key is what I was going to say. We probably should have fished, fished that out. But oh well. I've not found a single crawl space. We can also stand in the lava to generate money. It's kind of a weird, weird thing we could do. What is it? I'm going to go down up to 150. Okay. All right. I do wish it wasn't a red flash. I think that's kind of... Ouch. Um... Hmm. I'm mean, actually, just in case it is the new boss, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to take the damage that we get to 50. Because I th think we'll... I think we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll gain health out of the mix. Because I just in case it's the new boss, I do want to be decently well equipped in the, uh, the old health area. And that will just, that'll help us out like a little bit, you know. Why not? Just in case I... Ah! Okay cool i'm so glad that i can find I, like i'm so glad i found him i'm scared i think this boss is uh probably gonna be a, a tough one the good news is we actually you piece of trash did you see that we just got the uh the the lucky rock and then we got bopped oh my god this fight is so sketchy i'm so happy to be doing it in um in other mine though, where the the HP pools do do indeed see a little bit more proper, it's also fun to have a, a boss that is really hard countered by multi uh, multi strike stuff. Because I would go as far as to say that I don't think any other boss really is. Like, who's the other, who else would be a maybe hard countered by it? Ponzu, a fat chance. Okay, we're doing like we're doing actually great. We we really do. We do hard counter. Okay. This is awesome. I love that this boss is added to the pool, though. I've not had to fight him with a melee build. That seems a little a little more scary. Oh, mama. Hell yeah, though. Hell yeah. So happy to see that. That confirms that it does indeed work. Let's get some crit chance up. We will get enemies hit with the thrown pickaxe. We'll take more damage. And that's from all sources. It's really, really helpful. Reduce max health. Dropping a bomb costs two bombs. I'm going to take that and hope that it goes away very soon. Because we do have... That just means we have one free bomb a room. And then if we need to play more than that, then we... Then we're running into an issue, of course. But yeah, this is what I was going to say. Like, I... Th the second I get a shrine, I'm just going to say sayonara to it, though. Get out of here. It, it's worth it to me. It's worth it to me to just remove that right now. That nets us two bombs a room again. Two bombs a room again. Free chest. Free random chest. Okay. Oh, there was more gold hidden behind the mini-map. Whoop. Uh-oh. Oh god. Little bomber men too. Oh wait, they Oh, they put down uh, poison bombs. I didn't even we didn't even run into Oh my god, we didn't even run into those guys yesterday. Um Hey, it's not worth it. Higher crit chance for every carried curse you have. That is not an item that I care about when I have absolutely no curses. Do we just... I'm going to... I just had a, I had a vibe about it. It felt like it was worth one of our permanent bombs. The thing is, we don't really need to be uh, too worried about... Oh, shoot. Running out of that stuff for now. This is a new enemy as well. When was he putting out his quills? When was that... When was that happening and why? Was it was it just on a timer or was it... These guys are new as well. Oh! Look at all these new enemies. Just... You know, huge props. A lot of games, uh, roguelikes, don't consider adding new enemies that high priority. But it, 
It's super high priority. It's so high priority to add new enemies. Ooh. Because it just, it really shakes things up. As long as they're, you know, of course, well-balanced enemies. You can't always, you know, guarantee that. But they seem they seem decently well-balanced as of right now. Like, these guys are just the, uh, the highest difficulty slime enemy that I've seen, you know. They're not too shabby, if you ask me. Seem, seem fine enough. Uh, ooh. That, what, coats our weapon in fire. Cool. I don't know why I did that, just because I can. It's a, it's literally a free bomb. There's no reason not to, I guess, is the reason I, I did it. But it's also, it's just fun. Uh, the other mine does randomize the, uh, the layout, you know, so that she, uh, it's fun to see different types of enemies here. It's like, it's fun to see those, uh, those slimes in this zone. Okay, we got 795. Max HP sounds nice. Health sounds nice. I'm gonna go with max HP. And we're gonna heal up. And I'm actually, I think this is a big play too, switching all of our, uh, all of our keys for bombs. And that's, I think, good enough. Uh, and I think it's, I think it's valuable, it's, it's valuable to have an empty slot there, you know? For the potions for later. Uh, we'll do one f one reroll with that. That's good enough. Increase your movement, attack speed, throw speed at the beginning of the battle. It's good enough. It's good for everything but bosses. It's um, it's one of the one of the best items I think you can get for uh, improving your room clear speed. Uh, kind of up there with ricochet. Uh, you know, funny enough. But it has very little effect on bosses because it does not last very long. But it lasts long enough to change. Uh, change room clear pretty substantially. What does this one do again? I never use it. Become immune to fire and ignite yourself. Ignite yourself. Oh, okay. Are we at rank three? We are not at rank three with our pet yet. Not at rank three with a pet yet. Shrapnel. Sure. I mean... I guess fingers crossed that the shrapnel can't hurt us. I don't. It, it wouldn't make sense to. Ooh, it wouldn't make so much too much sense to me if it did. But you know we. Sir, okay, good. But I was gonna say, yeah, you know we didn't have. Uh, we had bomb immunity yesterday when we picked up the item, so it's hard to say. Hard to say. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't think it was a good idea. I think that was a bad trade. Huge shout out to Justice Tom as well. Have not uh, mentioned that quite yet. Huge support on Patreon. Getting the name on a peasant as a result. If that is something you're interested in, if you want your name to be on a peasant for a run to claim for yourself. Potentially hold the highest crown aloft. Unfortunately, potentially also be the person to lose the streak. Uh, you can support... Oh my god. You can support on Patreon with the link in the description. If that is something you're interested in. Whoop. All support over there goes directly in to uh, help make the channel better. Genuinely. I, I recently was able to uh, finally purchase the stuff for a new computer, which will be happening... Very soon, probably within a month or a month and a half, I, I should be able to get it here and uh, here and built, which is, you know, a massive part in thanks to uh, to Patreon. So huge, huge thanks there. If you enjoy the channel, you can help it out that way. If you if you want, if you want. Oh, boy, I wish I had money, but it makes sense because we spent it all. Maybe we can generate a good amount here. This whole thing is going to get lit on fire if... No? Nope. Well, now it is. Okay. That wasn't close enough. It's fine. Oh. You're going to have to get used to that new enemy. That spawns the bombs. Uh, they're mine. Eight. Um, we're getting close to the end. It's not a dumb idea. 
We're getting close to the end. Okay. Oh, you punks. Oh, they're getting me good. Come here. Come here, sir. Thank you, Nori. Thank you, Nori. Wait, what? We poisoned it, but we were okay. We do not have 400 gold. All right. I think we are, uh, unfortunately, just going to have to book it. Good by me. This is our final floor in this zone. We have one more zone and a boss. And then we're all done. Uh, which I think is a much better pace, personally, for a, uh, a, a roguelike. I think the, the length of time makes way more sense. It's more, more uh, properly paced. I don't know. Like, I get the value in, you know, having a run that's like an hour and a half long. Like, ooh, it is, it's cool. It's cool to go that long and get super strong. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. But I get bored of my, I get bored of my build at a certain point. You know what? Let's do it. Why the hell not, right? Okay, we got health, uh, bonus healing, which is really good. Whenever we heal, we get more, effectively. Ah, sure. Boop. Whenever we heal, we get a little bit more. Uh, and as a result, we unfortunately got a penalty to our oh, our swing damage. However, I do not care because I am not really swinging for damage. Swing speed would bother me way more. Just because, as I mentioned, it's kind of like a quality of life thing on this run. <laughs> I think you, you can make it around, can't you? I can't remember. It's been a while. I think you can make it around. I don't really want to spend three keys on it. I don't really want to waste my time either. You can make it around and land on the spikes, so you can basically do that for 20 damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm so glad we got that swing size potion. We wouldn't have been able to do it without it. Hello, sir. We got uh, the crits beget crits item. I forgot to talk about that one. Uh, so every time we crit... You can see right here. Uh, wait, no. That's not what that is. What's that sound? I mean, I guess I guess we were just critting a lot. Huh. Good, good, good aim. All right, um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But I mean, I don't care about this curse, so we'll probably just end up keeping it on. I do, ooh, rocking a hard place, rocking a hard place. I do not know. Oh, I was busy, too busy looking at the new enemies. Oh, that was rough. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm just, just trying to analyze them. Don't quite. Don't quite get that spiky boy yet. We will... We'll figure it out. Shua. Shua. This evens out our bombs and our keys, which is going to just be a good thing for us right now. I don't hate the idea of buying ourselves an extra... Ooh, extra potion slot either. I think that it's actually probably a good call. But... Oh, well. What is our crit chance? Oh, that's right. You can't find out. Oh, you can find out. 22%. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. Thank you. Really is amazing how much uh, two bombs a room completely changes an entire run. Completely changes it. And we were able to get it for uh, for ba for a big discount, basically, too. Which is really good. So good. Uh. What do we got? 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 Uh, shop prices go down. Extra heal. I'm going to go with regeneration to get extra healing uh, per room. I think having one rank in that while we have catalyst is going to be good. We get an extra one heal. 
uh, every room, potentially. Oh. Okay, so if we can manage to kill this in time... Oh, there's new visual effect on him. That's so cute. We actually get a, uh, a free, quote unquote free, a free blessing. But we did have, you know, we had to pay for it. It costs money. But still, I think it was a good deal. We'll get simple chest, I guess. I, I like this item a lot. This item's busted. If we drank this right now, it would round up. Basically, we have one rank in all our blessings, but two in uh, crit chance. It would average them out, but it would round them up, so they would all just go up to two. Just like that. It'd be nuts. Selt. It's kind of hoping for Selt final boss, because I just do not want to see Nori. Interesting thing, now that there's another boss, there's two floors, two random floors and two random bosses that we will uh, not see in a run instead of just one. I like that. I really like that. I like that there's two bosses we just won't see on a run. It will make them feel, you know, more varied and fresh. Like, it, it, it's a... It, such a such a good helpful update for lon the longevity of the game in uh oops both the both the base mode but i would say like it has a honestly probably a bigger effect on uh on other mine a whole extra set of uh floors enemies to add to the rng pool so good boink 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 goodbye my friend so long fool celt I just noticed we didn't get any drops from the uh, uh, from the last boss. I guess that's a little... That's probably a beta branch bug. Reminder that we are on the beta branch. So, you know, don't be... Don't be snippy. Don't be sassy. It's no big deal. Bombs explode in a shower of fire. So, Keyblade is really good. And it's top tier for swing runs. Uh, but I'm just going to go with this because it's a fire-based item. And we have the, the, the fire pet. It just seems like a fun thing. More skeletons than you would like. It's a new... Well, we don't get to see it. Okay. Uh, sure. It's a new curse. <laughs> More skeletons than you'd like. Ara kind of ate that for us, so we didn't get to actually even see it. Having new curses to the game is uh, a really big... Oops. Benefit as well. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I'm really happy we have the build we do. Because it should... Oh my god, it should hard counter these guys, thankfully. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna back up. I know we've uh, we double messed up there, but... Oops, uh, well, just pretend it didn't happen. Just pretend it didn't happen. Some potion! Hey, it's whatever you want it to be, probably. Okay, what do we need? What do we need, what do we want? Bomb doubler is an interesting one. Uh, spawn an altar in a bottle is nice. Probably altar in a bottle, right? I'm going to be honest. Throw damage. A. A. I'll take it. I don't know when I'm going to use this potion. Like, when do I, <laughs> when do I care about this potion? I don't, I don't know. And in the end, I had to trade a key anyways, and, well, you know, basically we've traded one bomb, one real bomb for a little bit of value. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, challenge room. Bring on the bad boys. Ooh, fork. Um... Oops, I wanted to pick it up to showcase what it does. <laughs> so we'll do that again. Does this. However... Is that good? Is that good for us? You can only hit the an enemy once with it. I would consider on this run... Probably that Guidance would be better... Eh, maybe not. Maybe we keep Fork. Let's keep Fork for the fun of it. We had Guidance yesterday. Tent. 
Okay. Tent spawns a, a, a tent at the beginning of every floor in the future. All right. This is a healing over time potion, which is going to be extra good because we have catalyst. We kind of like, we lose a little bit of our oh, inflated range up of the benefit of, you know, the bouncy, bouncy shots. That's all right. Just trying to fish for the uh, crawl space. We also pick up gold a little bit faster. I would consider it like kind of a side grade, maybe a downgrade because we have to throw more, which means we have to stutter step more. We have to, you know, gotta go eh, 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 a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go aggressive with keys. Disappointing, very disappointing. Four keys for a lunchbox, which, uh, you know, is the item that makes it so when we are at full health and we pick up meat, it goes into our pocket for later. It's not a bad item, but it's probably not worth four keys to uh, very many people, myself included. Okay. Yeah, I think fork might have been the right choice. But yeah, it, it is very much noticeable, the fact that we, uh, eh, eh. the fact that we um, have to stop moving more, that causes, it causes problems. Alright, sure. Got that for free. What a silly man. Yeah, a little bit less... Uh, oh my god. A little bit less OP of a build for this enemy. Which actually... Might be enough for me to say that I regret my choice. Maybe, 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 maybe. Got two shops here and a decent amount of money. Why is it so cheap? This is a full heal potion. Okay. This is an amazing position to be in now. All right, I was like, I was about to mention the possibility of being slightly concerned. Uh, and that is no longer the case. I am no longer, I'm no longer even slightly concerned. Hey, Macarena. That slight potion duration up is going to be handy. Because we drop gold on the ground for a, a certain flat amount of time. Oops. Why did I do that? All right. Regrettable that I, I did that because I could have purchased maybe like a max HP up. would have probably been way better for us. Well. Okay. I do not remember what you do. You, sp uh, you make a, an AoE around an enemy. That's right, that's right. That's right. Got this the one time we really weren't even looking for it. But of course. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, maybe this will drop like a bomb bag or something. Do not care. Do not care. I will... Okay, double fire. We're on double fire now. Not just single fire, double fire. Somebody called two separate fire departments. Uh, uh, okay. Scoot not. Oh, hey, buddy. Hello there, stranger. My name is Tuss, a humble traveling bard. Would you like to hear my music? I am quite the strummist. I'm also not as humble as I originally claimed. How gracious of you, sir. A true patron of the arts. I will let all my friends know of your generosity. Please select a parting gift, I insist. <gasps> what? Select an item. Oh my God, this is crazy. 
Uh, 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 this is this is busted. Throw damage, swing size, swing speed, heal and praying in an altar. Throw speed's not bad. God, what what do I want out of all of this stuff? Wow, this is this is really cool. Um boy, I'm paralyzed by choice though. I definitely don't need bomb box. Normally that'd be a really tempting one. I'm gonna pick up Queen's Crown for the throw damage and the thought that maybe we will get King's Crown because they have a synergy. I mean, okay. Hell yeah. Uh does uh, well, I mean that's amazing. Does that happen every time? Do we have how much money do we have to put in that's the that's the question. How much money do we have to put in? Is it guaranteed? These are all the things I need to know. These are all the things I need to know. Because if, if it's guaranteed, even if you, like, spend $1... Oh! First Mimic. Then it's, uh... Omega Busted. If it's just, uh... You can get any item that costs less than the amount you put in... If that's what it is, that's very good. Um, okay. These are both really good curses for us. We get a crit chance. And we will also end up picking up... Yep. Okay, well, I set myself on fire. That's okay. We do have the, uh, the firebird, so when we get set on fire, it is going to hurt us less. So, at least we have that. At least we got that. Um, you know, a big part of me wants to play that until we get the gold potion. Mm. Well, fine. I'll, I'll spend an extra... There, I was gonna say. Okay, let's spend an extra bomb here in this room. Actually, we don't need to. We can just run around and we'll open that door from the uh, from the top. So we have our our uh, our tent there, and we will only we'll only utilize when we're actually you know hurting. Ouch! Ouch! Out. Okay, looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Um. Hmm? Cook the food. Thank you. Okay. Well, all right. Resurrection. Revive on death. If you die, you come back. Straightforward. Very, very handy. I don't think we're going to need it on this run, but, you know, I'm not going to say no. This is all pretty, pretty relevant for us. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. It's a scary man, scary man, scary man. We definitely can afford to uh, really... Okay, discover more treasure rooms. Yeah, if we would find the, the minstrel now and we could get the synergy with the 10,000 gold. I guess, honestly, at this point in the run, I don't even know if that'd be that big of a deal. How many shops are even left? You know what I'm saying? Like, the value in that feels high, but would it even be that high? I don't know if it'd be that high. Yeah. If we had Aura, I uh, would do it. If we had Aura up, by that I mean. I know we have the item, but we do not have the buff as far as I'm aware. I believe. I do believe we do not. Alright, we're going to have to do some serious backtracking. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay, good. All right, we're still good, still good, still good. We definitely still uh, counter him pretty hard. I, I'm like, 
That enemy seems like it is going to be terrifying with a melee build. Like, I am not going to be happy to fight him with a melee build. I'm telling you that right now. Uh... All food is now golden. Except for this food. The, I'll take the damage up, I guess, for our uh, large ember. Throw size up. Don't mind if I do. Once again, if we had aura, I would do that, but we, we don't have our buff. Oh, my. Well, hello. Hello and welcome to the room to you, too, jerk. Ba ba boo ba boo ba ba booey you. Next floor is the last one, and then we are done, son. After one final boss, which has to be either uh, Nori, uh, was it Nori Ponzu or Mortar? It's fun that I, I really do like that. It there's two bosses that sit out now. What do we? What floor do we have left? All right, wait. We already knew that. So why is the why is the donation shrine even here then? You know? Ooh, throw size up. Don't mind if I do. Now we got now we got a good time brewing. I knew I was probably gonna land in the fire, but I just didn't. I wanted to take a shortcut. Serious? Okay. Well, you know, at least we aren't out actually out any bombs. We'll tip all the money that we have left over at the end of the run. Okay, well, we set that on fire. Cool. Uh, that was going to be a curse reduction or curse removal. But now it's uh, now it's paste, actually, so. Tis with tis. I'm just going to set myself on fire all run. <laughs> just because why not? Born by the fire. Mm, I was raised by the fire. Don't actually... You are so annoying. That is a very annoying enemy. So that comes from that specific uh, magician thing, huh? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay. I love having the massive pickaxes. It just makes... Picking up all the gold in the room easier, if nothing else. Bomb doubler. Right, let's just do it, right? Let's just do it. Eh, I regret that. I regret that. Our HP is not very good. Not very good, indeed. Can use the bomb more. Uh, average the bombs and keys. Yeah, let's do that again. Kind of irrelevant. Kind of irrelevant. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Oh, well. I think it's going to be all fine. We're at, like, I mean, it's a low amount of HP, but we are at full HP. And we have a potion that'll put us at full HP again. Eh? Oh, getting pincered. Getting pincered. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good. Don't you do it. Wait, what? Okay. Huh. It's weird to see it in this run. I guess I'll pay tri but it's in the it's in the final room. Is it like if you pay a certain tribute you get an extra floor at the end? Is that what's up? 
Is that the thing? Wonder how much we have to pay though. Oops. Hope I mean, hopefully it's a thousand or less, because that's probably all we'll have. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't want I don't I don't know if I want that to be the thing, because you know, I've obviously I've spent a lot of time explaining how much I enjoy the fact that other mine is not that long, but it's just something we can opt not to do, I guess. Uh, is the thing, so. Why not? It's fine that it's there. You can just opt not to do it. Ooh. Ooh, this is... Ooh, this is sketchy. Alright. Oh! <laughs> that, uh... Oh, that was gross. Okay, done. We will obviously sacrifice the thousand bucks just to see if that is enough. <laughs> that noise. Sound like a raspberry. Okay. All right. Should we go to the tent? Eh. Definitely not worth the help. All right, well, clearly it wasn't not enough to do anything anyway, so. All right. Oh, easy day. Oh, easy day. We hard counter this boss. Oh, wait, I thought we had Ricochet still. I, I would go as far as to say we still kind of hard counter this boss anyways, though. He gets kind of wrecked by multi-strike too, I guess. I am the only thing that can kill me. Okay. Holy moly. Holy moly, tiny dancer. So easy. Such an easy boss for our build. We absolutely hard countered him. All right, next. I'm curious to see, are we indeed done, or did they add more? Okay, good. I'm glad. Uh, no crown, no new crown yet. Congratulations on your achievement. All these skills make it out of the other mine. We're ready to cast off your possessions in return. Yes. All right. So, we shall raise aloft the crown. So, we're on a streak of 40, if you include the streak from the prior series, which is quite good. Way to go, Justice Tom. Way to go. Thank you for the support on Patreon. And we're going to be popping back down, making sure we unlock the item. We have a new item here. Jump again in midair to land with authority. Okay. Looks like it does damage. Okay, this could be very, very cool. One Mississippi, one Mississippi, one Mississippi. So yeah, you can you can use it to jump a lot more too. This could this is one of those items where I could see it being completely broken. Become immune to poison if you can survive it. Okay. Um, interesting. Immune to poison for the whole run or what? <laughs> for just a limited time? Eh, who cares? Uh, but alas, that is going to do it for today. Uh, we went a little bit longer. We'll get back to uh, being un like a 50 minutes or sub 50 minutes for these undermine other mine runs. But that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and comment down below. Those are two ways where you can stick it to the algorithm and say that this series is worth watching and help you know, showcase it to people who might also want to see it and help me out at the same time. And trying to hit 100,000 subs, we are very close, very, very close. 
but that is going to do it. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If you're a fan of the genre, I can so show you so many in this dang genre that you're going to be like, I, you know what? I don't know if I like the genre anymore because there's so many, so many cool games to play. I don't want to have so many cool games to play. I wish Retromation would stop showing me so many cool games to play. My wallet is sad. Like, I mean, so if you want to save your wallet, maybe don't sub. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.